Hi, I'm Robert Dudzik and welcome you to another installment of how I use what I use. Today, I want to talk to you about me using simple libraries to creating trailer score. And for this example, I'm going to use the latest release from Project Sam, the library is called Pandora. Pandora is the continuation of the successors of Symphobia series 1, 2, and 3. And I have to tell you something, well, you probably don't know. I was the one of the sound designers who was designing sounds for the previous releases and the folder is called Dystopian. So if you like the sounds, I think you're going to like Pandora. But I have to tell you, there's no Dystopian yet at this moment in Pandora, but I already speak with the guys and we talk about updates. So today, after my presentation and going overview of Pandora, I will show you the way how I'm creating new sounds, what probably eventually will be released and the new update, I'm going to show you how I'm using. And at this stage of the developing, I would like to get your feedback or your comment. What do you think? Do you like them or not? And if yes, you know, that probably will be eventually included in the future update. So advance, thank you for your time and take a moment and leave your comments. So let's jump to the Pandora and let's have some fun. Welcome to Pandora. <laughs> So that's the library and to doing this presentation today, I'm going to work inside the Cubase. Cubase is my number one choice, what I'm using for composing music, doing sound designs, and I'm going to work in the latest version, just release 10.5. So just letting you guys know, everything's work. There's no glitch, no problem. So far, everything's so good. Thumbs up. Cheers, Cubase to you. Thank you for all your support and remember, Create it, produce, mix, repeat. Love this mark. So before we're going to go deep inside of the Pandora, go under the hood and show you some of the sounds and talk about this, how I'm using this sound and show you a preview of stuff, what I'm going to do for the dystopia. I just want to play you one of my compositions I did previously for the trailer. And basically what I did, I take down some of the tracks where I was the originally band and the track and the track was complete. And I leave like very basic stuff and I decide to replace a lot of the tracks with the stuff, orchestra sounding stuff from the Pandora and give basically like a fresh new alternative mix. So here we go. So there you have it. That's my track with the sounds of Pandora. And I gotta say, guys from Project Sam just did an amazing job and it's just phenomenal. So let's move to the screen. Let's go and just show you what I went using to this thing. So basically, if you go here to the Pandora, you have all the categories, what's Pandora come. And Pandora come with the categories clusters, combos, effects, percussions, pulse, rises, and tonal. And eventually will be dystopian sounds. And I gotta say, the engine of the sound design and Pandora, it's sick. You, you can do a lot of crazy stuff. And this guy's did a really cool job. And I will show you in the moment how I'm using this stuff, but let's go quick overview. So basically here on the first track, I was using combo. So let's go and open the track actually what I was using so you can hear it. And that's the thing what I use. So one of the coolest thing what I want you to know about this thing, then all the tracks, all the instruments are another, all the phrases here, the beat and tempo sync. So finally I have a library when I'm designing something and I, I just want to be make sure it's in the beat ending and the crescendo hits ending and the one with not stretching and overlaying stuff Pandora's doing to me. So basically like if you just listen to this track in the beginning, this is what I did. So we hear the beat and it's go like much. Perfect. It's beautiful. You hear it's going, ending, and just watch this. See how growing? 
So it's just phenomenal with these guys. And when you go to like combo, that's so many other things like example. We have Brahms. Another cool thing why I'm using and the complete control because it's NKS ready. Right here on my screen, I see everything and I can go quickly to the preview. And I can use them right away. So it's so many cool stuff. For example, all right, I like this sound. So let's load this sound instead there. I replace this sound and at the beginning, instead of playing this one, I'll just play this one. See, it's right away, match everything. I just changed the sound. So it's really cool thing. So when you go and you go and the compost. So, Combos pretty much, it's like combinations. If you're familiar with contact, you know it's combination. It's a stack of different instruments together playing once. Instead there, here, everything is beautiful, design the contact, and you can open as one instrument, and it's go. Next instrument, what I was using here, that was from the tonal pulse, and let me show you. See? And what other is great, what the guys did is great. You have multiple position microphone right away. So watch. I can set a central. Or stereo. Or farther mix. If I want to do, I can do white microphone mix. But if you go to the mix, it's basically already optimized for you to making everything sounds bigger and just give you this wonderful cinematic stuff. So Pretty much I'm just going for this, it's easy to go. And you can switch right now on the words from the note and triplets and you can do whatever you want to do. So let's go clusters. And this is everything in the folder pulse. And next thing I was using Oh, that was from Tonal, perfect. And again, you can go and scroll. Listen previews. So another cool thing, watch, like this is not pretty cool. Let's load this one. So if I go right here to the effects right now, and it's wonderful thing is MIDI lens. So basically I click on my favorite things, cut off filter, MIDI lens, assign to my mod wheel and watch now. And here, if I go gonna back right away, I can open a beautiful convolution reverb and just give me this big sounds right now. Let's go and the example, let's play maybe some previews of the tunnels for you so you're gonna have idea what's going on. So as you see, there's a lot of great stuff and this is in folder and tunnels. Let's go to the risers because risers are pretty cool too. All the risers, again, the same, the, the sync, so you can basically, you can decide how long you want a riser, how many bars, and it's just work. Let's go to four bars example. Works, like a magic. I don't know how these guys did. So, and again, you go to the effects, you can change the mic positions if you want to, you can control speeds and you have again all kinds of effects, whatever you want to change. But I'm going to show really cool things too about riser because there are the cool stutter effects when for the trailer guys, you can just set up and I'm using this a lot. So it's really cool thing. And this time I do midi learn and the speed and watch.
So it's a cool thing because actually you can go when you doing animation when you when you doing composition or sound design, you can actually go and just add the animation. You can pre-program speed of the stutter inside your track, so you don't have to worry about the programming and moving your web. I just show you as an example. Yes, that's possible. So there's so many. So there's so many great risers and they're all tempo sync. So it's for me, it's a winner just for this thing because I'm dealing with risers all the time. I always when you want to boot something up, beat the climax and boot this thing, it's just adding riser. So and the really orchestral riser, not synthetic stuff, and the sounds really cool. Now let's go to cinematic drums because they are really cool. So again, like right here, if I can go and program MIDI lane, I love this thing because you can create like a cool pulse example watch. So it's pretty cool because you can create the dynamics of this thing and how the sound is evolve and open. If you want to create like a cool effect of this, Heartbeat, it's very easy right now. Let's just do. Something just coming. So I love this thing. So that guys did phenomenal job. So let's quick and uh, just listen to some of the previews of the drum sounds. Rolls. And the all, how you see everything is tempo sync. Like seriously, you guys, having like a sync, rolls, swells, you know, a symbol and sync to the tempo, that's for me, that's a big thing. So I, I really enjoyed it. Hits with rolls. Even having this thing to build in climax, it's really cool thing, especially if you do a lot of trailer stuff. And it's very cool. Let's move Pandora and let's see clusters right now. It's really cool. And basically with this one too, again, you can change whatever you want. But what I like about actually cluster too, you can go again to effects and I really like adding the color filter because in cluster especially you can pull like almost like a riser but it's not but it's just kind of kind of like a white moving up so it's really it's really huge beautiful sound and actually i was using the sound right here at the end if you listen there's like right right here watch so that's the tail of this thing it's beautiful so listen to the track it's just made this sound huge and the end epic so i love this thing and another thing that it's folder what i use it's called canvas so P for Pandora. <laughs> so it's a lot of great, cool sound designs too. And if you're gonna dig this inside, you're gonna see what you can do with this thing. And there's another folder and it's come just with the effects. It's come with a lot of great sounds. And again, I like adding my cutoff filter. So let's go into effects.
This is cool. Cool piano effects, class test. Let me show you some of the sounds what what I'm gonna work in right now um, and I'm planning to include them inside future release for the updates for the dystopian. So you can just see how much you're gonna add character. So now let's play with my sounds from the dystopian and together connect them together with Pandora sounds. So this is how the sounds. So you see the preview and of course if I wanna, I can connect other sounds too at the same time and just play with them and sound like this. So it's really cool. Anyway, this is sneak peek of the new dystopians what I will be working on too, plus will be like more organic drone stuff too. And there will be a release, I just don't know when. So that's Pandora from Project Sam. And I have to say, you know what I mean? I, I, I really like it. And it's not like it's crazy expensive. I think so it's a fair price for the amount of work what these guys put in because if you ever work in any sample library, you will exactly know how much work is take and how expensive it is to get either musicians to playing this stuff and whatever prepare. It's a, it's a lot of work, you know. So I think so. It's worth it. Any anything this library because if you're really doing this for living, any professional musician, I think so. I don't have to convince you. You just make your own decision already, and you just don't decide to having these things. So. Anyway, hope you enjoy what you see today, what you hear. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.